Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna check out what Daxter Jackson looks like almost a year after he officially retired from competing in bodybuilding. In a couple of months, it's gonna be one year since he retired. This is the photo that he posted a couple of weeks ago. He says, maybe I'm retired from the stage, but never from the gym. Your boy gonna die shredded, lol. Let's hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. But here you can see the video as well, so you can see how big his arms are, and they are not small at all. They look great. Overall, he looks to be in a really good shape, he looks pretty shredded, he looks pretty big for a guy who is retired. And also in his 50s, he's 51, turning 52 in November. So how much size do you think he lost after the Mr. Olympia? I think I have that information, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but here you can see that it doesn't really matter that much, his arms are still big, he is not getting super small, like a lot of bodybuilders after they retire, because of the health issues, they lose all the size, and no, not Dexter, he still has it. I wouldn't say he still has it to compete and win pro shows, or at least place in the top 5, top 6 of the top pro shows, no, no. Could he come back and do that? I don't know, maybe, but probably not. As you can see right here, he did lose some of that shape and roundness, the size. As you can see, the triceps are not really looking the same. Super massive shoulders that Dexter was known for are also pretty much gone. You can see the back doesn't look that thick. It looks pretty flat, the forearms too. So yes, he did lose a lot of size, but for a guy, again, who is retired and 52 this year, he looks amazing, yes. How much of this muscle loss actually happened while he was still an active bodybuilder? He decided prior to Mr. Olympia 2020 that he is going to retire. I am curious why did he decide this, because 2019 he won the Tampa Pro against very good Luke Sando and some of the other really good top guys, he won, he beat all of them, he looked amazing, you can see right here. Then he did a Mr. Olympia. Maybe he wasn't as crisp as he was at Tampa, but he was still good, he was big and full, and he took 4th, guys, 4th in the world, 2019. Then last year, guys, only last year, 2020, Arnold Classic, he beat Big Remy, your current Mr. Olympia champion, and Steve Kuklo and a bunch of other really good guys. He almost beat William Bonac and won the Arnold Classic, imagine if that happened, but it didn't. He was second and he looked great, he looked really good, he was shredded, as Dexter always basically is. And after that show he decided it is enough, he decided to do another Mr. Olympia and that's gonna be it for him. So at the Mr. Olympia he looked like this, he was still in shape. He wasn't as big as full, he was a little bit asymmetrical, he, he did atrophy in certain body parts, but he was still pretty good. Not a very good edition of Dexter, he took 9th, he was beaten by Hunter Labrada, Ian Valier, a lot of guys, a lot of newcomers, so this basically showed us that he is not really able to fight for the first spot, to be in the top callouts, or was he? Because the same thing happened in 2018, where he was 7th, and the next year he came back and won that Tampa Pro, destroyed everybody and took 4th in the Mr. Olympia. So he was still able to make progress, that was only 2 years before 2020, he was uh, 49 or 48, something like that. So maybe he could have came back and did well at this year's Mr. Olympia, 2021, I don't know, it would be super, uh, super insane, but based on what we saw from Dexter before, at this point anything is possible, this guy is super natural, he is a vampire and you can expect anything from him. This photo, as you can see, was taken in February, and he took a little bit of a break after the Mr. Olympia, if you guys remember, Mr. Olympia was in December, so he took about 5 weeks off of the gym, and he came back and looked like this. <laughs> Look at him, he's enormous right here. After this photo, he also posted this video, in which he looked really impressive as well, and he gave us basically an explanation of what his plans are. So he says, getting back in the groove, as I said, he took a, a little bit of a break after the Mr. Olympia, as he always does, and he says, putting in work, sitting at about 225 and loving it. The goal is to maintain and be as sharp as a blade. So if you pay attention to his arms, to his shoulders, to his back when he turns around, when he walks right there, you can see a lot of thickness in the triceps, in the delts, in the back, he was still big at this point in February about 5 weeks after the Mr. Olympia, so he was resting for those 5 weeks, not training, he came back to the gym, 
and he looks like this, 225, which is basically his stage weight, uh, when he was competitive, he was around 240, 250 in the off season and 225 on the stage, here he was 225, so he definitely wasn't blasting gear after the Mr. Olympia, he took some time off of that and off of training, and when he came back to the gym after his body recovered fully and he pumped up once or twice, he started looking absolutely ridiculous, amazing, huge. He looked like he could have competed still in the pro ranks and still be a top bodybuilder, he was that big, in February. A couple of months later, he didn't really look like that anymore. He posted this leg press video in March and here he looked significantly downsized. He lost the roundness, the fullness that he had. Surely he had it in that previous video because it was a post-show rebound and this was after a while and he tried to maintain a lower weight and just get shredded. So of course he's gonna lose some fullness, nobody looks super full-blown all year round, you do look after the show but uh, for the rest of the year you will look a little bit flatter and this is the case with Dexter now. Even though he's in his 50s, if he pushed things a little bit too much he would grow again and he wants to maintain 225 and stay shredded. As you can see right here, you can see a lot of that back gone, I mean, it, it looks much flatter than before. The rear delts, the traps, the lats, he lost a lot of that roundness and fullness, but at least he's staying healthy and he's still in great shape, guys, don't get me wrong, he's in a great shape, he's in a great condition for retired bodybuilder, this is amazing. This right here was about a month ago and again, he looked conditioned, yes, but flat, pretty flat. So again, he, he lost a lot of that fullness, a lot of that size, he's trying to maintain 225 and just be shredded at that weight, his, his plan, his goal going exactly the way he planned it, I don't know, at this point maybe it hasn't really been going that great for him. This video was taken in May and here as you can see he looks great, I mean you can see big arms, big forearms, shoulders and everything, he downsized to be 225 and to be pretty lean, but he probably didn't count on losing the pop, you know, losing those, those round delts, the fullness in the arms, in, in the neck and the traps and everything that Dexter was known for, that's pretty much all gone, or at least it was in May right here, and if you guys can't really notice, let me show you what Dexter looks like when he is full blown, just chilling. Did you forget? Well, now I reminded you. So Dexter is an animal. He is a monster when he is full blown. Right now, he is a shadow of himself. Amazing for a retired bodybuilder 52. Yes, but compared to what he was once in the off season, this was just ridiculous. He was humongous at that time. And this is him right now, about two weeks ago. I think he looks better now than he looked two months ago. I think he gained some of the size back. Maybe he started pushing things a little bit more because he was missing the good old days and he probably feels healthy and awesome and he can train hard and eat well and everything. So here he is right now looking amazing for a bodybuilder in that part of his career. And that's gonna do it for this video guys, for this bodybuilding update, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and if you wanna see more bodybuilding, all kinds of bodybuilding videos, subscribe to my channel guys, all the best and bye bye.